Right now, these lithium ion batteries are powering many parts of our lives, whether we know it or not. The technology is used in things like electric vehicles, but also in everyday products like cell phones, laptops, and even some electric toothbrushes. As the technology evolves, fire departments are preparing to handle more instances when things go wrong. 10 TV's Carla Rogner continue our team coverage today. She's learning how fire departments are preparing for these fires involving these batteries. She's live tonight with what she's uncovered. Carla. Yeah, that's right. The state doesn't keep track specifically of lithium ion fires just yet, but in the last few years, there have been more than 80 reported battery related fires in the state. And for firefighters, a lithium ion fire is not their average fire, and it requires a very specific approach. When a truck carrying lithium ion batteries caught fire Thursday morning, the Columbus Fire Department was ready. Last year, we had an outside company come in and give us some training that got us up to speed on some of the hazards and the, and the challenges that you know, you're going to face in these fires. You can't just use water to put out a lithium ion fire. The strategy is to isolate the fire and let the burn run out. You can use water, but nowhere near the amounts of water that we typically carry. You're talking in the area of like 15,000 gallons of water needed to extinguish a EV battery in a car. Tom Benson with Energy Safety Response Group trains firefighters for these fires and to handle the smoke they produce as an explosion risk. If you think there's a lithium on battery involved, treat that as off gas um, because there's a, a large difference between off gas and what smoke is. He also says people need to use their lithium ion battery products in the right way, like pairing your phone with the right chargers. We'll notice a lot of times that our phone is getting hot. We as a consumer, not being educated, are abusing the lithium ion battery in it, um, which could over time cause that to fail. As the technology becomes more popular, the fire department is preparing for the possibility of handling more fires like this. The policy for us is, you know, continue to learn and train because it is new technology, but in the short term, it's remove everything around it to protect, basically we call them exposure. So whether those are people, buildings, cars, uh, do our best to minimize other things coming in contact with it. Yeah, the battalion chief says that anyone who has these products at home should make sure that they are certified. And if anyone ever notices even the slightest bit of smoke coming from a lithium ion battery product to make sure you evacuate and call 911 right away. Live in Columbus, Carla Rogner, 10 TV News. Carla, thank